Welcome to Resman Help. In this video we provide an overview of stock transactions in Resman. In Resman all stock movements, that's stock coming in, stock going out, stock being transferred from one stock location to another, they're all referred to as transactions. And they include types of transactions such as adjustments which we would uh, typically use to enter our opening balances, issues which would be an issue of stock from a requisition book uh, as opposed to an issue from a docket and that's called issue to dockets. Receipts, that's stock coming in from our suppliers with a goods received note. Returns where we've potentially maybe uh, found some faulty stock and that's being returned to the supplier. And as we said, transfers between stock locations. Our only exception to those transaction types in terms of the way that we actually process them is stock takes where there's a separate me mechanism for our data entry and they have their own system generated stock take reference which is STKE and there's separate data lists for our stock take batches. There's actually a separate video on stock take and we recommend you watch that before you start doing your stock takes. All our transactions are entered here on the action section and we've got batch transactions and a batch is a holding place where we can put like transactions so let's say for instance we uh, had received multiple deliveries today from different suppliers we could create a batch of all our stock receipts and we can keep that batch open while we're entering our information into it and then when we're satisfied that the batch is correct and we're then in a position to be able to update each of our stock items we'll then post the batch so this is a listing of our batches as you can see we've got a system generated batch number We've got the batch date, which is the date that it was entered, but you can um, change that date. Then we've got our transaction types in our batch types, and we've got a count of the number of items that are in one of those batches. And then we've got here whether or not the batch is posted or not in this, in this tick box. We've also got um, a show posted batches option, which when I click on that it then changes to hide so we can see a list of all of our historical batches. You'll also notice that we've got a filter row at the top because clearly if you've got uh, many um, transaction batches during the course of a financial year what you might want to do is to be able to filter to find say all issue to job batches. Let's have a quick look in a batch this is a posted batch I double clicked on that and this is the batch header at the top here it shows the batch number the batch date our batch type which we had previously selected from a drop down list and this tick box to say that it's already been posted so because these were transfers we can see that we've done a transfer here from main stores to medical electronics and another transfer here. So for all of our transactions we can look at the uh, existing batches. Let's have a look at a live batch. So this is one that's not yet been um, posted and this time we've got these actions options at the end. We could delete a line. We can use this option here to go back in and edit or we can add another transaction. If I click this to say that I'd like to edit it, this is the batch transaction form and this is the same form for all of our batch transactions except for stock take. When the batch has uh, been entered and we click on OK, it then closes that form and we've then got a batch which is ready to be posted and we can confirm that batch with confirm post 
and that then updates the, the data file. In addition to that, if I go back onto our data list, we have our transactions inquiry, and I'll show you that. This is a useful facility to be able to see transactions, and we can filter those by supplier, product item, transaction type, and a date range. All of the transactions for a particular stock item are contained in the stock detail form under a transactions tab. But this is an option that we can be a lot more selective about how we can view our transactions. So if we, for instance, pick a supplier, that without any other work just displays all of the transactions. So that was by supplier. If I do product item, supplier changes to item, that gives me a list of all my stock items. If I choose any one of those, that then gives me a list of all my transactions for the product item. There's also transaction types, and this gives us a, an opportunity to look at the drop down list with our types. Issues, that's issues to uh, a job, which is called issue to docket, and that's a, got a separate reference. Uh, issues from a requisition book, adjustments, that might be our opening balances, receipts of stock coming in, returns of stock, faulty stock maybe going back out to suppliers, transfers, stock take and all. So if I click on issues, that gives me a list of all my stock issues. If I choose another one, returns, stock returns and if I click on all that shows me all my transactions we've also got the facility to be able to run reports and although we've got all our standard stock reports up here in standard reporting we can also run them from this stock list and that's very useful because we can use the filter row filter say by stock group and then we can run a report on that filtered data set. We have to select a, an item before we run it and then that will then give us our stock reports list. We've got valuation reports, reorder reports for replenishment and transaction reports. We can click on view report and that will produce a report for the the data set that's been selected. We can print those to our printer. We can save them as Excel, PDF or Word files, ideal for emailing. And, <clears throat> excuse me, finally, we then got stock takes. And this is the ability to be able to print a list of stock for a given location. And we've got a stock take list here we would then go to that stock location, um, shelves or bins, and write in here our stock level. We'd total the number of items, and then we would go into our stock take batch, enter those values here. We get a running total, which compares to the transactions on that report that we've physically gone and checked. And once we're uh, pleased about that and ready to move on, we can confirm that and then we've got an adjustment report which shows us any differences between what we found and what was expected to be on the shelves. And that is a summary of transactions within Resman Stock Control.